All right, guys, I want to talk to you today about the number one myth in MMA training, all right? The thing about MMA fighters is that they're super well-known for, like, going hard 100% of the time. For, from, from the minute they enter the gym to the minute they go out, these guys are, like, crossfitters on steroids times 100. These guys are crazy, and... You know, that's probably because of the nature of the sport, because you have to be extremely tough for, for MMA, all right? But that's, it's, when people think of MMA, people, people think that that's how you have to train, which is completely untrue, all right? When you, if you go too hard, you know, you're not gonna be able to recover. If you go too hard, you're not gonna be able to, in the actual training session itself, you're not gonna be able to perform your maximum capacity, because it's just from science, you know? The, the first energy system you use, it will be the anaerobic alactic system. The anaerobic alactic system lasts 10 seconds. And then you have to recover from that so before you could repeat it. And then you can only do that for so long. You can't be able to do it for zero from, from your first minute to your 60th minute or whatever, you, how long you train, right? So you always have to focus not only on training harder, but you have to focus on training smarter as well. All right. There's times when you have to train at your maximum capacity in terms of, your, of how hard you go, all right? But there's also times when you gotta relax, you gotta step back, all right? Stuff, it's, it's not only, you know, not doing, like, if you, if you, MMA fighters, you have to, like, at the professional level, these guys are training two to three times a day, six times a week, because they gotta learn so many different martial arts, so many different skills on top of their strength conditioning, all right? So, well, when so when you want to train for MMA you got to pick you know you can't you, obviously you cannot go hard three times a day every day all right these fighters what they do is that they pick pick and choose between these different times and these different you know skill work and uh, strength conditioning and see which one of those can they go 100% because it's not only about how much punches you could you could you could uh, you could throw in in 30 seconds? It's got you got to work on technique, all right? Technique stuff that's lower intensity. It's not only about doing your sprints or about going uh, a, a one minute hard sparring session. It's also about your road work, your tempo runs, your low intensity stuff, all right? Because if you don't have the low intensity stuff, you're not going to be able to do the high intensity stuff for for very long. You'll see that. Actually, that in the, in the Olympians, they actually they actually tested it out on Olympians. That uh, the top Olympians, they actually had the greatest aerobic capacity. All right, that means that they were able to use the aerobic system efficiently, and they able to, they were able to recover faster than their counterparts. You know, even though they probably have uh, their, their their intensity was pretty much the same. All right, but they were able to recover faster, meaning that they could stay. You know, higher and a higher intensity for longer than their opponent. So you gotta make sure that just because you're working harder and longer does not mean that you're gonna be better. All right. So make sure you get your low intensity stuff. Track back, uh, scale down your high intensity stuff. Add in some low intensity stuff, and you gotta be, figure out where you can recover from there. And from that, you got yourself a good training program. All right.